All right, let's start the review for the iPod Touch fourth generation. Uh, let's start with the outside. Um, it's not really that thin, in my opinion. It's not very thin. Well, you can see there's scratches on the back already. I just got it a week and a half ago. There's scratches all over it already. Um, the power button is on the left or on the right side instead of the left. It's over here now, and the side buttons are two separate buttons this time instead of just one. A speaker not inside uh, where you plug in, and the headphone jack. All right. Now the big thing was the camera. There's a little bit of it. There's my wall. Very nice. Um, there's the front facing camera that you use to do FaceTime. You can video record as well. You can also tap and It'll focus the light and make that spot that you want brighter. So if I focus it on here, it'll make it darker because that's already where all the light is. So now if I tap where my face is, it brings light so you can see it. Alright. Uh, FaceTime, use the camera. Splice is a good app. Edits movies. I've done it a few times. Um, multitasking. Now, multitasking is a big thing that was added. You can go from playing Sonic 1 to anything. Mm. There you go. And there it is. Then I can switch right to Sonic 4 just like that. And I can start playing that, blah, blah, blah. And then can switch to anything I have down here. Go back to the camera, just like that. There we are again. Can switch to YouTube. Um, that's all I have. Music controls. So I can just go with that. Play the song. We'll play a different game. Then you can either click this one or this one. I don't know why they put that. Make it two different ones. Now they just make it one. Pause. Easy as that. Um, now to stop multitasking, you just click the hold it down. Like if you're going to move it, just cancel them off, and there you go. And then should start the song over again. A cool feature I found was uh, can we click a YouTube video Then you can close out of it. If you go back to the multitasking, instead of clicking that YouTube, flip over, click play, and there's and there's the song. 
while you can still do other stuff, just like it's music, just like it's already on your iPod, it's just the music already. But I'm actually playing it off YouTube. So I found that feature really sweet. Now you can just close it out. Um, another thing is the retina display. I can't tell very well, but the Sonic apps look absolutely horrible. The icons don't just look all pixely and whatnot. While other apps, as in, got the Rope, Rock Band, they look very nice. Um, Assassin's Creed 1 looks very nice. Oops. But the second one, the second one's icon, you can't even see it on the camera. Maybe you can see a little bit. Uh, the second one's terrible, but whatever. Um, a lot of these apps don't even, some of these apps don't even support retina display, and it's just awful. Like Sonic, none of the Sonic apps, the icons. I think Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 have retina display. I don't think 4 or Spinball does. Um, text free has voice now. You can use the the mic right there, and you can actually talk with people, and you can hear them out from the speaker down there. Um, uh, a few cool features that I found, and I was searching through the settings, was voiceover, and a few other things that I thought were just cool. So, there's voiceover at the top. What it'll do is, as you can see, voiceover speaks items on screen, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Um, just hit on. Settings, voiceover, accessibility, back button, accessibility, back button. Okay. Home. And she'll talk about whatever you click. Stuff folder. Assassin's Creed folder. See, you can just click. Sonic the Hedgehog folder. Double opening Sonic the Hedgehog folder. Sonic Sonic 1. Sonic 2. Double tap Sonic 4 EP. Double tap to open. Spinball. Hmm. Double tap to open. Closing Sonic the Hedgehog folder. New folder. Uh, what? Okay. And stuff after folder. a while, that gets just really annoying. Folder. Okay, okay, Settings. Jeez. What did you get? I wonder. Now, the dumb thing you have to do is use three fingers to slide. Rows one, two, three, and eleven. Oops. Rows three, two, ten, and eleven. Okay. Hmm. Include in rotor off. Where's Speaking off? rate thirty percent. Include in rotor off. On. No. Speaking rate heading. Speaking rate heading. Include in rotor on. Off. Speaking rate thirty. Sp speaking rate thirty. Speaking rate thirty. Include in rotor off. Always include speak on. Off. Speaking rate heading. Speaking rate thirty percent adjustable. One hundred percent. Hmm. Ninety percent. <laughs> Accessibility. Back on. Mm, very funny. Uh. Capital A. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. Whatever. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Anyway. That can get annoying. Zoom. You can actually just zoom in on anything. Double tap, three fingers. Then you gotta use three fingers to move it around. And you can just zoom in on apps and whatnot. That gets annoying though, very quickly. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Um, no, this one's cool. White on black. It turns the whole iPod a different color. The home screen. Everything changes. The best part is, I can go right into Sonic 4, or any app. I already can see the change. Sonic is not blue, he's white. Super Sonic in this looks really cool. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. So, 
I'm just going to show you this real quick. As you can see, everything's like just warped. I can't imagine if Sonic was actually made this way. The ring, really quick. Alright, I got 50 rings. Now that, this is just beautiful. I wouldn't mind a super sound like that all the time. Let's zoom up here. There we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, the strange thing that I found was if you take a picture, there, I just took a picture, except it was black. 